What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another Pokemon trading card game online deck profile. Today we're going to be taking a look at my favorite Pokemon in the history of Pokemon, whether it be VGC, TCG, anything. I am the world's biggest Butterfree fanboy. I'm, I think, the only person that's ever actually top cut a VGC regional with Butterfree. And now that there's a Butterfree V Max, I know it's a little bit of an older card now. I decided to make a deck around it, and uh, I wanted to use not just the Butterfree VMAX, right, going for those big GMAX Toxic Breezes, but I also wanted to use this Butterfree, being able to triple charge. I know a lot of people nowadays would go with Rillaboom to accelerate their energy, but this is a really cool deck because it features two different ways to play my favorite Pokemon, which you don't actually get a lot of if you're a competitive Pokemon player. So basically what we want to do is start off, we would like to go second with this deck. Uh, remember our Caterpies here and Metapod, they have Adaptive Evolution, which lets them evolve on the very first turn. So you're filling your deck with like turf field stadiums, uh, you know, evolution sprays. So you can go right into this Butterfree. Uh, you're going second, which would be your very first turn. You're able to triple charge, which can search your deck for up to three basic energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. It's so good. And we just basically attach them to a Butterfree V. Next turn, we use our Turfield Stadium, and we evolve right into Butterfree V Max, and we have a fully loaded, amazing Maximon on the second turn of the game, which is very, very fast if you can actually hit your curve. Uh, again, I just want to look quickly at Turfield Stadium. Once during each player's turn, that player may search the deck for an evolution of a grass Pokemon. Put it in their hand. It fits so well here. Uh, we can get our Metapods. We can get our Butterfreeze, our Butterfree VMAX. It's really, really nice. I will say other really uh, tech choice cards in the deck are using a Weakness Guard energy because Fire decks are pretty pretty prominent. Scorch and Charizard are still pretty big. And uh, other than that, I really like actually, I really like running Brock's Grit because if they KO one of your Butterfreeze, and you have a couple energy prizes. You can see we have like nine grass energy. Uh, and if depending on how they're distributed, if you have like a couple Butterfree's loaded up, you can actually find yourself running out of energy as well as Butterfree and Butterfree VMAX is pretty early. I know that running this po this uh, supporter is actually usually seen as wasteful and you only ever see it used in decks and go super long game. But I've always felt that this gives, this gives our deck the ability to play long game. So if you're a fan of Brock's Grit, think about let me know in the comments. Other than that, Let's go get some big wins with Butterfree, my favorite Pokemon. Wish me luck. Here we go. All right, it looks like we're going second this game, and this is such a good hand. Uh, this is actually like the perfect hand, I dare say, because we already have the full hand into Metapod. So we go Caterpie, uh, uh, Turfield Stadium, and a Metapod, Butterfree, Attach Energy, Level Ball, discard the second energy for Butterfree VMAX, and we're good. Oh, that entity is really nice. I actually really like that. And it looks like we're playing against Yama. Is that a deck? Is that a thing? All right, so let's do this. Grab the Metapod. I just want to see what's here. All right, so it looks like our Parasect is prized. Okay. So what's really cool about this uh, Caterpie is it lets us evolve right into Metapod. Like, right away. And, but and Metapod does the exact same thing. So we're going to go bam. 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 Get rid of the second turf field. Uh, go into Butterfree. All right, cool. Yeah, it's such a good hand. Right there, and then OMG, and we got a supporter. We're also minus one our opponent. That's really, really nice. You can also level ball away. Let me think if I actually want to do that. I think I'm going to save this level ball to get myself a supporter next turn. Just going to throw this there, and uh, yeah, triple charge. It lets us search a deck for up to three basic energy and attach them to one of our Pokemon. And we're going to attach three energy right here. Wham! And we can also turf field stadium for our Butterfree next turn. That's so good. So, like, next turn, we're already going to be popping off. That's really, really, really good. Holy moly. Talk about hitting your curve. The double Butterfree deck pops off. This deck is so good going second. Oh, and you hit when you hit the curve, right? But let's see. Um, I don't know what this deck really does. I've never really fought against Yama before. I like to see. I like to think of myself as a little bit of a grass expert, but even I don't know everything about Yama or Yamega. All right, that's a not so great a card. Maybe there's something I don't know, right? Uh, you know, two two energy attacker for a 120 that hurts itself doesn't seem too hot. They're gonna be able to load that thing up for sure, but uh, I think we're gonna be fine. I'd love to get my window of bosses orders. Oh, we just top deck it. Um, let me actually think about that. Speaking turf field there. I think we turf field just to get a card to discard for a level ball.
Yeah. And I actually want to say we just load up a second Butterfree. Like, we just go here. Uh, level Ball for Butterfree V. I guess we'll get rid of this in case we draw uh, Pokecom. So we don't need Turf Heal. Don't need a second one. Um, right here. There's no reason for us to push the envelope with that. Uh, we can also Marnie if we really, really want to. Let me think about that. No, I think I'm okay not Marnieing right now and just saving this. And let's just triple charge. We only need two energy. I think it's better to save that one energy in the deck in case I draw a new like an energy spinner and needs to get need to get it. I can put a second energy on this butterfree. I don't think it's actually that important. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We'll play this a little bit passive and just set up for like the full end game because like that is actually gonna be super hard for them to beat. We can turfield stadium for our butterfree next turn. Um yeah, go go for it, bro. Draw your cards. Show me what you're working with. There's a second Yama. I'd like to go into a boss's order soon. Yeah, he wants it. I guess 120 is pretty big for two energy, but like it's not big enough to like warrant being like a good deck. <laughs> Alright, there's the helping hand. He's gonna put a second energy on that Yama. Cool. Evolution Incense. Not a card that we really need right now. I think we actually just dropped the Eldegoss here. Uh let's turf field first so we can get the butterfly out of the deck. So we don't draw into it. Yeah. I'm thinking about just burning this so I don't draw it again, because like I just don't need it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna whip it. There's a Parasect. I guess there's a Parasect. I guess there I shouldn't have burned it. Oh well. I thought Parasect was prized, but it wasn't. It's fine. Alright, so let's see what you get. Survey says. Alright, we'll start setting up for Paris. I actually think I'm just going to drop the switch here. Definitely do that now. Paris right here. And this we're saving this energy for a retreat cost or something like that. Let's drop that there. Should we just harbor treat and save the switch in our hand? I think we actually should. Because if they bring out a uh, Parasect as to retreat. Bring out our big Butterfree. The biggest Butterfree with the big charm. So we got 330. Awesome. This is a quick ball. Not that useful. But yeah, we have two Butterfree VMAXs that are already ready loaded. Yo, for anyone that actually watches my content, you should know that, like, Butterfree's by far and away my favorite Pokemon. So actually having a deck that can use Butterfree to its fullest potential, and not just Butterfree V, not just Butterfree VMAX, but also, like, this Butterfree to set up is so freaking cool. Like, I think this is probably one of my favorite decks that I've ever made. And this guy's just going to have a hard time. He's going to have a hard time. 330. That's a bit, That's a lot of damage. Let's see what he goes for. Basically, he's going to need to play something on the bench real quick. Otherwise, oh, just, things are just going to get out of hand. Does that have no retreat? It does. At least that card has no retreat, man. When cards have like a ton of retreat, like that's that's rough. I definitely know that one. I think we're actually just gonna hard switch because uh, it doesn't have any retreat. Just going to this Butterfree. And Toxic Freeze that one. Yeah, no reason to sit in here with a t one that's like low key almost gone. We can just bring on a brand new one. Ooh, another Butterfree. Awesome. Yeah, and I love this Parasect. Uh, we don't really need it in this situation, but puts two damage counters on your opponent's confused Pokemon between turns. So actually they take 10 from being poisoned and then two, 20 more uh, from being uh, confused. And remember, Toxabreeze uh, confuses and poisons them. So actually they're taking 30 more damage. You can actually look at this Toxabreeze and think that it does uh, 180. It looks like that Venusaur and a, a Selby of some sort. Yeah, Venusaur V. And what's a Selby do? Top six cards your deck. We have an energy card. Put in your hand. That's a good card. I like that. Doesn't even say basic energy card. I like that card. We should run that sometime. It's actually really nice. It has to be in the active slot, but I still think that's a good card because you can just uh, scoop it up. Speaking about things we need to scoop up, we need to get that Venusaur off the board before he pops off. We able to take out this Yamega here. 
Starved. Okay. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Alright, so we got the research. Do we actually just want a hard research here? I don't think there's any more Pokemon that we need. Uh, it sucks getting rid of this energy, but I think you actually want to just do that. I don't need a third Butterfree. I don't need a switch right now. I'm fishing for Brock's. Um, because my energy supply is going to start running kind of low. There's the Brox. Awesome. So if I ever do lose one of these Butterfrees, uh, I have a way of getting them back. <laughs> and we have a Pokecom as well. As well as a Dedenne. That's really nice. So let's just go for... Uh, let me actually think about this. I think it's actually good to just retreat this one. Just because this one has the uh, charm on it. And just get the kit with this one. Because this one has a little bit more health. Make this guy hit a little bit of a higher threshold. Marnie, awesome. That's actually a pretty good draw, I would say. So here's the Celeb. He's just trying to stall for time right now. Uh, I'm really surprised I didn't go into a... I didn't cut into a boss's orders. That's kind of nutty. Let's see. He's loading up both of those. I love that card. That's such a good card. All right. He wants this guy. All of your Pokemon. Forest Slam. Okay. Okay. That guy's going to be hard to beat. I mean, we got Butterfreeze for days, but if he gets two KOs, we're in a bad spot. Two base can crush from your hand. That's going to be hard. Okay, so we're going to have to take that out, and then like it's gonna we're going to have to get one more KO and take out the Zarud, I think. That's probably how we're looking at this. It sucks also that we can't Oko that thing. What is this one? Viridian? Okay. Not bad. I already got my full value out of it. All right, so he's, he's just leaving this up here. I mean, get a Marnie. All right, I think we actually just Marnie straight up. Just straight up. Um, I don't see a reason to not do that. I think we'll actually... How many cards in the deck? 15? We'll discard there. I don't even want the. I don't even want the, any cards. I just don't want that card in my hand anymore. And then we'll Marnie because we're just deck thinning at this point. Also, minus is one our opponent, so that's fine. Fishing for, like, bosses orders and stuff. I can't believe I haven't hit one yet. That's kind of it's kind of crazy, actually. Okay. A couple extra energy just in case something weird happens, though, is kind of nice. Should I be attaching to Eldegoss? Let me actually think about that. Fifty is actually kind of nice. I'm going to do it. And so now Eldegoss can actually deal the extra 50 we need to, like, chip off that guy if we need if we need be. Let's nice meet my prize. Energy. Oh, another Butterfree. What now? Yeah, an energy would have been nice, too. Let's see what he brings out. I cannot believe I haven't hit any of these bosses orders at all. That's, like, super nutty. So he's going to be able to, like, super hard attach here, and then I can't KO. That's the issue. That's a problem. Draws a huge hand. Evolution Incense. Search, is there a VMAX? Okay, go. I was like, is there a VMAX version of this guy? I haven't seen it. Now, let's see. He also can't KO this thing this turn, so that's kind of nice. I'm, like, worried in case he KOs one. They're not at full right now, but, like, he really doesn't have the ability to, like, KO all these guys. Venusaur, if he could accelerate energy onto the Venusaur, GMAX Bloom would KO. But yeah, just Jungle Rising is not enough. We're still at 110. I think we should probably switch out, though, because, like... No, 110. He actually can't... He's actually out of range. There's the boss's orders. A little bit late, I would say. But I'm, I'm really happy that we actually got boss's orders. Um, I think we attach here, just in case. Always want to have a healthier one on the board. So Toxic Breeze. And then next turn, we're able to just boss his orders. That same one right back out. I know he's going to come in with this Venusaur, probably. He's going to do something to come in with this Venusaur. But uh, we have the Toxic Breeze still. So we should be able to get it. Service says, what you got, bro? He finally has his energy and his Go-Goat. Man, this guy really likes doing damage to himself. Sonia. Not bad. It's like a professor's letter, but a supporter. 
Oh, Pokemon or energy cards. It's like a super professor's letter. Yes, Venusaur can do a lot of stuff, but like... Yeah, there's the hard switch, but we got the orders. And he could definitely KO this Butterfree. He will get his three prizes, and then we'll win. And then we win. Butterfree down. Sad face. He's like, all I gotta do is kill this Butterfree. He thinks he probably has us. Yeah, but we got the good card in the back. We got the uh, the champion time going on here. Now let's go. Orders. I'm under orders to Toxa Breeze you into Oblivion. We take those. Yeah. Butterfree, the superior grass deck confirmed. Yo, victory royale. You'll love to see it. All right, looks like we hit... Eh, that's a decent looking hand. I mean, we got Crobats, we got Dedenes, uh, we got Quick Balls. Yeah, we could probably almost get a Caterpie going here, because we got Trifield Stadium, Quick Ball, Pokecom. The hard part is we don't have a switch, so we can't go immediately into our, our other Butterfree. Heracross. Yeah, what's up with these decks today? I don't actually know how, like, the ladder works, but I've... I would say that I win a lot of my games. And you think like winning games would make you fight like harder opponents. But I guess whatever time of day I'm playing right now is totally amateur hour. <laughs> let's see the Durant, yo. All right. Now let's see it. Okay. And a research. Let's think about how we want to do this. I think we're in a turf field, obviously. Even though it's probably going to help him out. I think we're still turf field. I think we quick ball... The question is, what do we discard? Because I kind of, that's my only Parasect. And I know I want to research. I think we want to discard Crobat. Just because your hand can get kind of clogged. And the Dene gets me to get a new one. Yeah, let's get rid of the Crobat. I'm Fort. Start building up this Caterpie. Drop down the Caterpie. Uh, we Turf Field away for Metapod. Drop the Metapod. Uh, we poke calm. Put the Parasect back in the deck. I guess I could have kept the Crobat and Crobat it right here. I still don't think it's the right play, though. Because I think we're just going to let her. So there's that. Sorry, research, I mean. Yeah. I guess I could have went for the Crobat. And he saved my professor's research. And we got an energy, and it looks like no switch. That kind of sucks. Because, like, I wanted a switch there. Yeah, that sucks. I don't even want an energy spinner. I don't think that's actually good in this situation because we want the energy in the deck. Sometimes energy spinner can be good if you're like playing a slower game. I don't even need to do that right now. I actually think... I mean, I might as well just do that then. Drop that there for sure. You might as well do this, and the next turn we can weakness guard, retreat, and then use that there, yeah. So you might you might as well just go for a confusing poison. Just because it's literally free. It'd be like attaching in there, and the next turn attaching to retreat. Alright. Yeah, let's see what they got. I still think it was the right idea to not spin her. Basically just because, like, we only have like 8 grass energy in the deck. Um, and if, like, let's say a bunch of them are prized, and I spin her a bunch in my hand, I won't have enough energy to be able to double triple charge, which would, uh... Not be that great. Why do people keep playing this? That's not that great a card. In my opinion. Ah, but let's see it. Heracross, what you got over there, Chief? He is currently confused and poisoned. Is he going to go for the pushdown? I will definitely bring this guy up for free next turn. If you push me down. Eldegoss. All right. Okay. That big damage. All right, let's see what we actually want to handle this. I think we just turf field, first of all, to get a Butterfree. Want to do it first. That's one. Doesn't really matter. And now we don't have to retreat that thing anymore. So I get to keep that energy. I think we'll Marnie here. He looks pretty boned, but like, I think you're still Marnie in this situation. Alright, let's go. 
Don't need a second Caterpie. That's a pretty not so great hand, but uh, at least we have a boss's orders in case he actually gets something worth going after. Don't need a second Caterpie. Yeah, we're just gonna, or I'm gonna keep the big charm in my hand, I think. No, let's just attach it. All right, so see, oh, six, exactly six. One, two, three, right there. So we're actually really set. Cool beans, triple charge, busted. Imagine if this Butterfree didn't have a retreat too, that'd be really, really nice. So yeah, I want a boss's order. I want that thing gone. Give me my prizes for that, especially if you're gonna start loading it up. It'd be nice if I could start a Paris right now, but I just haven't had the cards to do it. I have a switch. I think you still save, I think you just switch here. Yeah, well, I'll draw the energy to make that Butterfree work. How many energy in the left in the deck? There's three left in the deck. Another boss's orders. And I just want to make sure Paris and Parasect are in here. Paris and Parasect. Perfect. Cool. So Heracross lives to fight another day, right? I think getting like the damage to stick on this thing. He could totally evolve it next turn. But if he evolves it, right, uh, that Venusaur would be able to do not that much damage. He can do like 60 damage back. But he's going to have to evolve it if he doesn't want to take the uh, the dots and the confusion. So let's see what he goes for. Loading up a double now. Okay. Brox. That's actually a good card here. Uh, I haven't used my Eldegoss, so like, I can throw that in whenever. I might as well search out my Parasect right now. Right? No. It's better to thin the deck of these cards, because I don't need them. There's a higher chance that I draw into a Professor's Letter than a Paris. Yeah, I'm gonna just do this like this. Cool. We take those. I'll take two prizes. It takes two, baby. Alright, cool. Not so great. Those prizes were... Suboptimal, to say the least. Let's see what they bring out. Heracross, cool. So we have one boss's orders in the grave. In the discard pile. Oh, he's got a free switch? Yeah, we take those. There's the Eldegoss, cool. We have another boss's orders if we need it. I think I'll just save that boss's orders, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, we want to search our deck for more of these, just because they're useless. I think it's, I'm not going to Marnie. That guy's like top decking City over there. Sucks I haven't been able to get an energy in like a million years, but that's alright. Yeah, we'll take that. One more prize, please. Realize, real prize, energy. That's what I'm talking about. Cool. Yeah, we just need to get the second Butterfree online and we'll be good to go. This guy's going to give me the last one and do like freaking 150 million damage that's a 120 plus <laughs> there's the parasect but no paris never lucky yeah i don't i don't need to do anything else with this hand i feel like doing anything else would be like bm and wasteful all right i'm gonna try and get this thing off the board the double Cause yeah, we, okay. Cause we had uh, Eldegoss and then, yeah, we were fine. We win. We take those wins. You'll love to see the wins with Butterfree. All right, I hope this isn't Zard. Please don't be Zard. Please don't be like Volcanion. All right, we don't know yet. It's hard to say. Now uh, we go right into Butterfree here though. Um, just search for Butterfree here. Or search for Metapod here first. Actually, I'm thinking about this. I actually think we want to Pokecom for Dedenne. As weird as that sounds. Well, first of all, get Butterfree out. Right? Am I wrong? Because I feel like we have our Butterfree right here. I could Pokecom for just the Butterfree. Or I could Pokecom for a Dedenne. And I actually think that's better. Yeah. Get Brox in the graveyard too so we can Eldegoss it later. Okay, that works. Did 
didn't get much out of that. I was able to get a Crobat. Next turn, we like an attach an energy and stuff like that would be good to go. We'll be able to Crobat for a couple next turn. I mean, technically, we have a Butterfree VMAX on the board. We just don't have any energy for it yet. Let's see what we're playing against, though. Uh, I mean, he has the Charizard Sleeves, right? So that means you have to be playing some sort of Zard, right? Even if they have it, they can't pop off with a Volcanion just yet. They even have the Zard coin. Like, they're set. They're ready to go. Let's see. If I can beat a Zard deck with Butterfree, I'm, like, next level good, right? It is Volcanion. I knew it. All right. So they're going to have their whole setup, I'm sure. They probably have a Switch or a Scoop Up to be able to get the Strachi off the board. There's the Switch. So Volcanion is going to literally pop off right now. What do we really even do? Oh, that, that is so hard to beat when that deck pops off that hard. Seriously, like, I am just up the creek with that paddle right now. Research is a good draw. I don't need to play any of these. I'll just research away. Okay. I don't see any energy left in the deck. Four. All right, that's cutting a little bit close. I actually don't think I need. Do I actually even need this card? He's gonna just freaking one shot my life. I don't think I need it. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm thinking about something else for a later turn. We need to start developing a second Butterfree already. Oh my gosh, they're all prized. The last one's prized. All right, well, we still have to do this. If he has a boss's orders, we're like dead. What are you going to do, right? This is our best play. One. Two. If he wants to go all in on Zard, we can drop Confuses and stuff like that. I have a card in the deck called Weakness like policy energy and uh it's for this situation we just ha didn't go into it i wanted to have to take out this butterfree first that's a lot of energy oh he's just, just gonna keep doing it all right yeah this is bad I know we're cutting him into something probably as well, but I, I feel I feel like I have to roll something. I got a boss's orders, so that's nice. Oh, fuck, I should have evolved. I could have evolved there that turn. It's my fault. No, I couldn't. Butterfree's in the prizes. No, I'll just chill there. All right, so we got it. Did I cut you into a boss's orders, bro? I have to cut you into like a boss's orders and a switch. And next turn, we're gonna be able to parasect. If I take out your one Zard, I might be able to get something done. No, no lie. I might be able to get something done if I take out your one Zard. I don't know how well he'll be able to come back. Ah, uh, he's gonna start chunking me with this. That hurts now. 60. Oh, he just hard switches. I don't know if that's right. He's giving me just a free switch into this. He's gonna bring my Paris up or my Dedene. That's fine. Yo, please. I mean, you're gonna have to get two KOs anyways, right? You're gonna have to get KOs on two Butterfrees anyways. This will knock him out of four. He'll kill a Butterfree. He'll go to one. And then I'll have a second B Max ready to go. Yeah, I mean, this is about as good a scenario as I actually think because he burned his whole hand for that. And Flare Strike. All right, so the next turn, you can use the GX attack. Okay. Let's go Butterfree. Let's stick this damage. Another Butterfree, not that great. Let's go. Right? Am I wrong? Do I, I have to do it, right? I mean, if I want to be really patient about it, I can just drop the Confuse with this Butterfree. Nah, I'm doing it. I'm playing into his hand, but if he hits himself a Confusion, I win the game. Am I wrong? If he hits himself with confusion, 
I win the game. There's like no energy in the back. That guy's not ready. So he's getting ready though. Uh oh. That's scary. You gonna hard switch? Bring out this guy? No, he doesn't have energy. Welder? You got welder in your hand? He hard attached, so no. Oh, he hit himself. Yo, butterfree. My baby boy. All right, let's actually think about this. What are you at? You're at 30. I have to take it out, but like, I'm thinking if I can steal away, like. We don't want to waste this butterfree. We, I think we want to bring in this guy and do it. I wish I had a second energy on like this. Uh... Actually, he's just going to KO himself, isn't he? He's just going to straight KO himself. I don't need anything on the board. Yeah, I think we actually just like hard switch into this. And he takes 20 and 10 and KOs himself. Yeah. No, I actually, let's triple charge. Let's get an energy on this Parasect. Just in case, just in case, you never know. Yo! Sar down! Give me those three. Give me my other butter. There it is. Yo, we take those. Doubles. Alright, and we have a boss's order. He has three energy. That's a four energy attack. I think we can do this. There's his welder. It's about time. Alright, let me think about this. I think you have to just boss his order out. And we actually just hard retreat here. Because his only play here is to like bring in uh we save our switch basically. Toxic Breeze! Let's go! Remember that we're playing against a Zard deck that popped off with a full Volcanion that went second. This is like his perfect situation we also have the quick ball to get our eldegoss to get back our boss's orders if we need it the only thing that actually they have here okay they're gonna welder i was gonna say they had to mallow i think they had to mallow you can kill this butterfree i guess it would kind of suck if they had like a no even like hammers don't do it because we have a second one ready to go you can kill one of my butterfrees good luck Yeah, he should have saved energy on that thing, I think. Oh, we got him. I think we got him. I don't think there's a single card in here. I think you had to, like... Oh, he just, he just went Tails. Yo, Butterfree busted. Oh, my gosh. We just dumpstered Toxa Breeze. Give me those three prizes. Feels amazing, man. Yo, Butterfree's actually pretty good. We didn't even hit our weakness weakness guard energy. And we're able to get three quick wins with this deck that features my absolute favorite Pokemon, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you guys liked this video, think about leaving a comment or at the very least, subscribing to the channel. We're trying to get to 100 something subscribers. Actually, how many subscribers do we have? We have over 100 now. We're trying to get to the next 100 subscribers and you can help us out. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, if you guys want to see the deck list, there's a link to it in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.